probability of getting two tails? What is the probability of getting two heads while tossing two coins? Okay, so we have two coins and when we toss, the question says find the probability of getting two heads, right? So whenever you toss a coin, there are two complementary events, right? You understand complementary events. Let's first understand the term complementary events. Complementary events are those events which will, if one happens, the other cannot happen. So those are the events which are complementary. So when you toss a coin, then what can happen? Either you get heads or you get tails. That is what can happen. If you get heads, you cannot get tails. So these are two complementary events. Now we have to really find out how many complementary events are there so that we know our number of outcomes. So in this case, number of outcomes is two. Either it could be head or tail for one coin. So it is for one coin we're talking about. Is that okay? So that is what you need to understand. Now in this particular case, since we are expecting two heads or two tails, we are talking about two coins, right? So that is what we are talking about, right? So what can happen here is that if you toss, you could get either a head or a tail. So that is for one coin, correct? Now if you have the second coin, or sometimes we can also say the first coin tossed again, right? In that case, what can happen? Now in that case, if you get first head, then the possibility of the second is again head or a tail, right? So you could get head or a tail. And for the second coin, let's say you got tail, what is the possibility? Next time you can get one head or a tail. So these are the possible combinations. So we are making two tosses here, right? In the first, you may get head or a tail. The probability of getting head or a tail is same, right? In the second again, there are two possibilities. You can get head or a tail. And with the second coin also, you can get head or a tail. So this is kind of a tree diagram. You can see this is our tree, tree diagram. Now from this tree diagram, we can write out combinations that if you follow this path, you get two heads. Do you see that? Or you get head and a tail. So you get head and a tail. And then there's a possibility of getting tail and a head, tail and head, or two tails, two tails. So these are our outcomes, right? So in this case, we can write these as outcomes. So there are in all four outcomes. Do you see that? So we have four outcomes in which how many are favorable to us? What do we need? We need two heads. So the favorable outcome for us is only one. Do you see that? So that is how we are going to solve this problem. I hope you understood the concept. So first I told you what is complementary event only to tell you that if you get head you cannot get tail, right? So there are two options, head or a tail, for one coin. And for the second coin also, there are two options, head or a tail, right? So in all, when you toss two times, or when you toss two coins, this is, this is the outcome. So the outcomes are four. So we have probability of getting two heads should be how much? Is favorable outcomes are just one, right? One. Over total number of outcomes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 over 4. So probability of getting two heads is 1 over 4. As an exercise, from here, you can find probability of getting two tails. Well, that is also 1 out of 4. And how about probability of getting head and a tail? That combination is half, right? 2 out of 4. Do you see that? So that is how these problems can be done, right? Now, as an extension to this problem, there is an exercise for you to do. And for you, the question here is, find probability of getting three heads. So, so what we can do is, you can toss a coin three times. 
draw your tree diagram and then show what is the probability of getting three heads okay so that could be a problem for you which is kind of related to this right follow the similar path that is make a tree diagram see what are the favorable outcomes right so on the top write down favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes right divided by total number of right, outcomes to get the probability right so that should help you get the answer thank you